What up, everybody? It's your boy, Reggie Casual, and welcome to Just a Tip, sponsored by Squarespace, where we give you fashion tips, tricks, advice, and philosophy. And today we're talking style, the philosophy of style to be exact, and what the heck happened to making it personal. After a word from our sponsor, let's get it. If you're looking to build a website anytime soon, then head over to Squarespace right now. With a ton of options and a painless setup process, Squarespace can get you set up with a site in minutes. Take the guesswork out of design with amazing themes, set up a shop with countless options, make a portfolio for your work, and if you're having trouble, Squarespace delivers with award-winning customer service. The casual worlds with Squarespace on our official site, and it's an amazing experience. So go ahead and set it up now, and be sure to use our link below, squarespace.com slash thecasual, to save 10% on your site today. And 2015 self-described fashion killer, ASAP Rocky, said he was through with fashion brands because as soon as he started sporting some of the hottest labels making major statements along the way, a whole host of posers followed wearing the hottest brands simply because they were the hottest brands. There was no rhyme or reason to their newfound interest. It was just because. They didn't know the history, the vision of the designer. They just knew it was designer. For the record, that is not that's not cool bro fast forward to 2019 and it's worse it's much worse personal style is on its last legs it seems just a few weeks ago for example the sky nike waffles dropped and became the hottest shoes on the planet for literally like a week and you can bet that there were a whole host of people that knew very little about sakai outside the fact that it's a designer japanese label i mean that's enough that's enough it's, it's supposed to be hot right that's why i'm gonna wear it you even had cats cutting off the back heel of the shoe because they didn't like how it looked, but they claimed that they liked the shoe. This would be unheard of years ago, but not today because style is now clout driven, more about click throughs, views, and likes, more or less what we think other people will like. To be fair, that's not everyone, but damn it, just, just look around. Just look around you. Here's the thing about fashion, just, just fashion. Fashion changes. There are trends in fashion, seasons change with fashion, different visions and different themes, but style, your style is forever. An unending process of revamping, reimagining, and perfecting the look you felt most reflected you. But so many abandoned their personal style, especially today, admittedly for a plethora of reasons. Maybe you got older, maybe you've had philosophical changes to your character, but still, many change because of perception, for other people's acceptance. And when you subscribe to a standard style that simply looks good and is risk averse, it has the opposite effect that you intended. It ends up suppressing your true character. And that's to be expected. For too long, you've been inundated with what you should wear, the best looks, brands, pickups, trends, and styles that you must have, the essentials you have to put in your closet to be considered fashion forward, albeit a careful individual. But style is not careful. It isn't staying in the margins. It's exploring, it's going beyond, it's discovery. It's going places only you can go. And the more you hinder yourself with arbitrary rules put in place by magazines, influencers, models, celebrities, and the stylists that they employ, the more you lose a bit of what makes you unique. So the question then becomes, how can you take the reins back on your style? Well, for starters, you gotta accept that what you genuinely ever wanted to do or did, but decided to abandon for the sake of normalcy is still valid. Don't get me wrong, inspiration is still a wonderful tool to encourage experimentation, but doing something simply because a famous person does it or some magazine says that this is a hot new trend and you should do it because it's hot, is not gonna get you any closer to something that will stand the test of time. It's the very reason I don't like to give style tips. Like, who the hell am I to tell you what to wear? I can hardly dress myself. Like, I just talk about this stuff. But it's okay though, because style has no time limit. It's a process. Say some trim comes along that you like. You should be so well-versed and confident in your style that you can find an intuitive way to apply that trend, making the trend more you and adding a fluidity to your closet that is more natural and evolving. And that doesn't necessarily mean that everyone is going to like your style. In fact, you should count on that because everyone 
has their own opinions on what style should be. Some dude even said to me, he was like, yo, you effed up your entire wardrobe and you're a poser simply because I like Yoji Yamamoto and Miharu Yasuhiro. That happened, but jokes on that dude because it's not for him. And that's the other issue. Even other people think your style is for them. And it's not because style isn't about pleasing everyone. It's about not being afraid to reveal yourself while at the same time pulling it off well. That's why you hear so many hardcore fashion scholars and stylists scream, wear what you want, but wear it well, meaning there are standard rules to follow, but those rules are guidelines for you to refine the style you choose for yourself. Because honestly, what you've been sensing recently is true. Fashion is getting boring because the character is lacking. ASAP Rocky felt that in 2015, but it's been going on for a lot longer. It's just far more visible because neophytes love to look like their favorite celebs, or even worse, everyone decided that dressing the same was the way to go or buying the same things was the only way to represent fashion. And I get it. We've fallen under this sense of normalcy. The most important thing for so many who've checked out how to dress like X person or the trends this year or anything that gave style pointers was to look good, to look fashion forward. But so many found out after employing these methods that once they took it seriously, they got boring. They knew they looked good, but it was less personal. And as a result, it became inconsequential. So again, how do you take personal style back? Well, think about the style you pushed away because you thought people would find it awkward, but you thought it was amazing. Think about that and then refine it. Apply character, detail, modernize it. Add those rules you learned to it, own it. You like wearing sweatpants and shirts? Everybody laughed at you then? Well, find a way to refine that. Maybe search for a different textile, a higher grade shirt, a different cut, a different wash, a better fit, whatever. Style is less about compromise and more about discovery. Because clothes are everywhere, but a sense of discovery and patience are learned behavior. It's far too easy to jump on the hottest trend just because, but it's more impressive if you take the time and have something that can't be replicated by anyone unless they're trying to be like you, of course. And that is just the tip. So give your thoughts on that. Give a thumbs up if you like the video. Follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter at Reggie Casual and the Casual Official at thecasual.co. So stay if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, but most importantly, keep it locked right here for all of your info on international street fashion and culture from Tokyo. It's your boy, and keep it casual. I'll see you guys in a minute.